Picture this. It's December 2013, and helicopters are flying over the dense jungles of Guam, dropping thousands of dead mice attached to tiny parachutes. I know what you're thinking. This sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie, right? But believe it or not, this is reality, and the US government spent $8 million on this bizarre operation. Today, I'm going to take you through 10 incredible stories of invasive species that have completely transformed our planet, starting with this mind-blowing mouse drop operation. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll never look at nature the same way again. Fun parachuting poisoned mice. So here's what led to this insane operation. After World War II, brown tree snakes from Australia and Papua New Guinea hitchhiked their way to Guam probably as stowaways on military cargo ships. With no natural predators and unlimited prey, these serpents turned Guam into their paradise. We're talking about 3 million snakes. That's 13,000 per square mile in some areas. These snakes didn't just multiply, they annihilated Guam's ecosystem. Nine out of 12 native bird species went extinct in the wild. The snakes were causing power outages by climbing electrical lines, and residents lived in constant fear, especially families with young children, because these snakes were venomous and aggressive. That's when the US military came up with a plan, so wild it sounded like something from a cartoon. They laced each dead mouse with acetaminophen, you know, the stuff in Tylenol. While this painkiller is harmless to humans, it's lethal to brown tree snakes. Just 80 milligrams per mouse was enough to kill these invasive serpents. But here's where it gets even more brilliant. They attached tiny cardboard parachutes to each mouse. Why? Because they needed the mice to get caught in the forest canopy where the snakes live and hunt. This wasn't just some random idea. It was a precisely calculated biological warfare operation targeting one of the most devastating invasive species disasters in modern history. The operation focused on the jungles around Anderson Air Force Base, a critical location for preventing these snakes from spreading to other islands. Scientists even fitted some mice with radio transmitters to track whether the snakes were actually eating the bait or if the mice were decomposing in the trees. And you know what? It worked. The snake population in the targeted areas dropped significantly. But as incredible as this mouse-dropping solution was, there's another invasive species story that's even more shocking. One where good intentions created an ecological monster that's still terrorizing an entire continent today. Second breeding machine toads. Back in 1935, Australian sugarcane farmers were facing their crisis. Beetles were destroying their crops and they needed a solution fast. Someone had the brilliant idea to introduce cane toads from Central and South America to eat these destructive beetles. They released just 102 toads, thinking they'd found the perfect natural pest control solution. Boy, were they wrong. These weren't just any ordinary toads. They were breeding machines from hell. A single female cane toad can lay up to 30,000 eggs at once. Within decades, those 102 toads had multiplied into millions, spreading across northern and eastern Australia at a rate of 60 kilometers per year. Here's the truly shocking part. These toads are living weapons. They produce deadly toxins from glands behind their eyes that can kill almost any predator that tries to eat them. Dogs, cats, native animals, and even livestock have died from just one bite of a cane toad. The toads didn't just eat the beetles, they ate everything in sight and poisoned the entire food chain. What makes this story even more incredible is that the cane toads barely touched the beetle problem they were supposed to solve. Instead, they became one of Australia's worst ecological disasters. But as devastating as the cane toad invasion has been, there's another invasive species that's even more shocking in how it's completely transformed ocean ecosystems around the world. 3. Beautiful Ocean Killers If you think the cane toad situation was bad, meet the lionfish, arguably the most beautiful and deadly invader currently terrorizing our oceans. These stunning fish, 
with their flowing fins and striking red and white stripes, look like they belong in an aquarium. Well, that's exactly the problem. In the 1980s and 90s, lionfish escaped or were released from aquariums in Florida. What happened next was an underwater apocalypse. These fish are eating machines. They devour everything in sight and have zero natural predators in Atlantic waters. A single female can release 30,000 eggs every four days, year-round. The devastation is mind-blowing. Lionfish have wiped out up to 90% of native fish populations on some reefs. They're eating the fish that keep coral reefs healthy, causing entire ecosystems to collapse. From Florida to Brazil, these beautiful killers have spread faster than any marine invasion in recorded history. But here's what makes this story even crazier. There's an invasive species that was intentionally introduced to solve a problem, and it backfired so spectacularly that it created a disaster that's still unfolding today. Fourth Day Night Mongoose Mistake this next story is mind-boggling because it shows how one simple oversight can create an ecological nightmare. In 1883, Hawaiian sugar plantation owners had a rat problem that was destroying their crops. Someone had the bright idea to introduce mongooses from Asia. After all, they're natural rat killers, right? Here's the jaw-dropping part. Rats are nocturnal, and mongooses are active during the day. They never met. It's like hiring a day shift security guard to catch night shift burglars. The mongooses ignored the rats and went after easier prey instead. What happened next was devastating. The mongooses massacred Hawaii's ground nesting birds, eating eggs and chicks with ruthless efficiency. Many native species that had survived for thousands of years were wiped out within decades. The mongooses also devoured sea turtle eggs and hatchlings, pushing endangered species closer to extinction. The most shocking part, the rat problem they were supposed to solve, it's still there. Meanwhile, mongooses have become one of Hawaii's most destructive invasive species. But wait until you hear about the next invasion. This one involves a plant so aggressive it's changing the landscape of entire states. 5. Water Vampire Grass You're about to hear about a plant invasion so massive it's changing the geography of the American West. Meet Arundo Donax, also known as Giant Cane, a monster grass that grows up to 20 feet tall and spreads like wildfire. This invasive plant arrived in the 1500s and has been quietly taking over ever since. But here's what makes it terrifying. It's a water vampire. Giant cane consumes three times more water than native plants, literally sucking rivers and streams dry. In drought-stricken California and Texas, this plant is stealing precious water resources. But wait, it gets worse. Giant cane is rocket fuel for wildfires. Its dead stalks create massive fire hazards that burn hotter and faster than anything else, turning small fires into raging infernos that destroy entire communities. The economic damage is staggering. Removing this plant can cost $250,000 per acre. But here's the incredible part. Scientists have unleashed tiny wasps and armored scale insects to fight back, and it's working. These microscopic warriors are winning battles against a plant that's been terrorizing the West for centuries. However, our next invasive species story involves something much smaller but infinitely more dangerous. Sixth, tiny global predator. Here's a story that'll make you realize how something as small as your thumb can cause global chaos. Meet the Eastern Mosquito Fish, a tiny fish that was supposed to be humanity's hero in the fight against malaria and dengue fever. In the early 1900s, scientists thought they'd found the perfect solution. These little fish eat mosquito larvae, so countries around the world, Australia, Europe, Asia, and Africa, introduced them everywhere to control deadly mosquito-borne diseases. It seemed like a brilliant plan, right? Wrong. These fish turned out to be ecological serial killers. They didn't just eat mosquito larvae, they devoured everything in sight. Native fish, frog eggs, aquatic invertebrates, nothing was safe. In Australia, they've driven multiple native species to the brink of extinction by eating their eggs and babies. Here's the kicker. They barely helped with mosquito control. They were too busy eating everything else to focus on mosquitoes. 
Today, the mosquito fish is considered one of the world's worst invasive species. But if you think a tiny fish is bad, wait until you hear about the furry killer that's been terrorizing entire continents. 7. Escaped Fur Killers You're about to hear about one of the most devastating escapes in history, and it wasn't from a prison. American mink, those sleek, dark-furred mammals prized by the fur industry, have turned Europe into their hunting ground after escaping from fur farms. These aren't just cute, fluffy animals, they're killing machines. Mink are opportunistic predators that will eat anything – birds, eggs, fish, small mammals, and even pet food. When they escaped from fur farms across Europe in the 20th century, they found a continent full of defenseless prey. The devastation has been apocalyptic. In the UK, mink have nearly wiped out water voles, driving them to the brink of extinction. Ground-nesting birds have suffered massive population crashes. Even more shocking, they're pushing Europe's native mink species toward extinction through competition and hybridization. Here's what makes this story so frustrating. We created this problem ourselves. Every escaped mink represents a failure in containment that's now costing millions of native animals their lives. But as destructive as mink have been on land, there's an aquatic invader that's clogging up our entire water infrastructure. 8. Billion Dollar Shells Prepare yourself for the story of the world's most expensive hitchhikers. Zebra mussels, those innocent-looking striped shells smaller than your pinky nail, have caused more economic damage than some natural disasters. These tiny mollusks arrived in North America's Great Lakes in the late 1980s, hidden in the ballast water of ships from Europe. What happened next was like something out of a horror movie. They reproduce so fast that they form massive clusters, covering everything in sight like a living carpet. Here's where it gets insane. Zebra mussels are infrastructure destroyers. They clog water intake pipes at power plants, treatment facilities, and industrial sites, causing millions of dollars in damage annually. Some facilities have been completely shut down because they can't keep up with the mussel invasion. But the ecological damage is even worse. They filter so much plankton from the water that they're starving native fish and completely disrupting food chains. They've turned clear lakes into aquatic deserts where nothing else can survive. However, our next invasive species makes zebra mussels look like a minor inconvenience. We're talking about an animal so destructive it's reshaping entire landscapes. 9. Unstoppable Pig Army If you think invasive species can't get worse, let me tell you about something that'll blow your mind. Feral swine. I'm talking about wild boars that have taken over entire continents, and trust me, this story is insane. Picture this. Over 6 million wild boars are currently rampaging across at least 35 US states. 6 million. That's like the entire population of Arizona, but it's all angry, destructive pigs with razor-sharp tusks. These aren't your cute little farm pigs either. We're talking about 300-pound beasts that can run 30 miles per hour and have zero fear of humans. Here's what makes my skin crawl. These things are living bulldozers. They uproot entire forests, destroy crops worth over $1.5 billion annually, and spread diseases that can jump to humans. I mean, when you hear about swine brucellosis and pseudo-rabies, you know we're dealing with something seriously terrifying. The worst part? They're incredibly smart and breed like crazy. A single female can produce multiple litters per year, and they adapt to any environment – forests, grasslands, even urban areas. Hunters and trappers can barely keep up with their reproduction rate. It's like fighting an army that multiplies faster than you can defeat it. But believe it or not, there's something even more destructive lurking in our wetlands. Tenth, giant wetland rats. And here we are at our final chapter. And honestly, I saved the most shocking for last, Nutria. When I first researched these creatures, I couldn't believe what I was reading. We're talking about giant rats that are eating entire ecosystems alive. Imagine a 20-pound rat with massive orange teeth and webbed feet. Sounds like something from a horror movie, right? Well, these things are real. 
and they're destroying wetlands across multiple continents. Originally from South America, nutria were brought to Louisiana for fur farming in the early 1900s. But here's where it gets crazy. They escaped. What happened next is like watching an environmental apocalypse in slow motion. These super rats don't just eat plants, they destroy root systems, causing massive erosion that makes entire marshlands disappear into the ocean. I'm talking about Louisiana losing football field-sized chunks of land every hour, partly because of these creatures. The economic damage is staggering. They've invaded rice fields and sugarcane plantations and completely altered entire ecosystems. Native animals like muskrats and waterfowl are being pushed out, and the biodiversity collapse is happening faster than scientists can document it. So there you have it, from poisoned mice raining down on Guam to giant rats eating Louisiana into the ocean, nature never stops finding ways to shock us. If you're fascinated by stories where science meets nature in the most unexpected ways, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. I've got tons more incredible stories coming your way about the wild and shocking things happening in our natural world. Smash that like button if this video taught you something new. It really helps the channel grow and brings these amazing stories to more people. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one where we explore more of nature's most shocking surprises.